Hi there, in the previous video we created code to select a user by email address. This was to find out if the user is already registered or not. In this session we will register a new email and also show an error message if that email is already taken. The success variable will be true if the selectWare query executed well. If an email address is found, the size of the list or array object will be greater than zero. So, if the size of the list of found users with that email is zero, the user with that email address does not exist and can be added. If however the list is not zero, the email already exists and the user cannot be registered with a taken email address. If the email already exists in the database, we will show an error alert. When the email address does not exist, we will use the captured user details, create a hash password, use that hash password to create the user profile and create a new record in the database. We had already written this code before, we will copy and use it and then execute the commands via the data source. This code gets the user object, that object contains the content that was entered on the login screen. It has the email address and password. With the created hash password, we update the user object with the hash password, this ensures that the real password entered by the user is not kept as is in the database. It also ensures that the user password can never be known by anyone except the user. We then use the register data source, set it to create record mode, we then set the record to use for the CRUD action and then fire the create call. Remember, in the layout, the register data source is linked to the users table. In the database, the users table currently does not have any record. Step 1, we set the mode of the register data source. Step 2, we feed the data source the record that it will process. This will be the user object. Step 3, we fire the create call, this fires an insert command. After the create call is fired, the result will be trapped by the register create callback. Let's run our application and register a new user. By using the data source, one does not have to write any SQL statement, one can just use already built-in codes and methods. We will enter an email address and a password and click sign up. The information entered will be read, 
a search for existence of the email will happen. If the email does not exist, a new record will be created in the database. The email was not found. A new profile was then created using the email address and a new hash. If we try and register with the same email address, it will be found and an error will be shown.